Hey, what's up guys? David James Visuals here. I'm going to edit a photo I just shot down in Yosemite, California. Um, let's see, probably about two weeks ago. Really fun couple. Um, really enjoyed my time with them and enjoyed going around Yosemite. Unfortunately, we didn't get to shoot anything inside Yosemite, but this was right outside the park, which is, it was, it was, it was great. So so here's a shot at the end of the night. They had a, uh, a daylight ceremony and a nighttime reception. And so that was why they hired me, mainly because of my off-camera work, my off-camera lighting, uh, which I turned out I didn't really have to use much of uh, because it was really lit well with string lights, as you can see over here. This is just the end um, of where everything was, but there's a lot more of those. So it looked great with the 5D3, crank the ISO, looked, looked pretty good. Uh, this was right before they were about to leave. Uh, I thought I'd steal them and throw some light uh, in the back of the woods. That's a young new 560, really cheap flash. You can go get them for like 30 bucks. It's a great one to start on. I still use them all my weddings. And I had that about full power, or probably about half power. And right above for their their main main camera light was a, I think it was an Einstein and a 46 inch octobox let me reset this and there you can see it right there the old big octo and so what i want to do is i want to edit this photo this is pretty uh it looked pretty good and in camera a little bit flat but it's because it's raw and you should be shooting raw if you're not i say it again shame on you uh so just to get some settings out of the way 5d3 shot at iso 200 my 35 one four uh canon l great lens one of my favorite Shot it at 2.0 and 1 30th of a second. So let's dive right into here. I'm going to throw this white balance down probably a lot. I kind of want to make it. That looks pretty good. The magenta, I'm going to throw a little less in there. That's eh, probably fine for now. Exposure, I'm going to throw it up. And that's probably fine just for now. And I'm going to go ahead and throw some shadows in this shot. Blacks, I'm going to do just a couple, do minus 15. Already we're looking pretty good. Let's go check what it was. And now what it is, I mean, you can see that took, I don't know, maybe 50 seconds, and we're already at a pretty good edit. There's your preset right there. Apply it to all your photos, and then make minor adjustments to exposure, white balance, and whatnot. Uh, but let's just keep going here. I'm going to throw some vibrance in the shot. The flash in behind them was really, uh, it was bare bulb shooting right at them. And it was... Oddly enough, they're both the same. They're supposed to be the same temperature, uh, but they kind of, the, I don't know, it looks like I almost gelled it, but I didn't. So I'll just roll with it. Didn't have much time. I don't think I could have gelled it. I'm going to bring the temperature up. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to grab a brush now and just kind of work on this background. I'm going to start painting it and uh, probably throw some clarity into it, make it, see how that kind of looks. And this is a really rough rough mask but you can take your time throw some clarity maybe some saturation just a smidge and eh, it doesn't look very good i'm gonna leave it that blue and i'm not gonna do much clarity i don't want it to look too spooky and kind of awful looking um, if i wanted to i could take this chair out in photoshop but i'm not gonna do that for time's sake uh, let's scroll down here, maybe grab the hue of the greens. We can change those a little bit. You can see it kind of just makes a little bit more green. And I like that. That looks pretty good. Let's let's just leave that as that. Blue, I don't know what you could do with that. Well, there you go. You could just make something <laughs> really crazy. Uh, yeah, that's not really the look I'm going for, but it's that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll make it. Yeah, let's just do that <laughs> just for fun. Um, so we got some, it looks like we had a little bit chromatic aberration or just flash hitting her hair. Uh, we can even grab the magenta or the purples and throw those down and those won't affect many skin tones or much of the stuff in the photo, but, but it will get rid of, uh, chromatic aberration. Or you can go down if you have the newer version of Lightroom and you can do lens corrections, uh, and you can correct, um, let's see here. There it is. Remove chromatic aberration, and you can tell it to whatever amount you want to move. And you can see right there, it did a lot, uh, and that's that's good enough for me. Uh, if I want to be picky, I can kind of I'm gonna grab this brush actually that I did up here. I feel like I see a little bit too much magenta, 
and it's a forest, so I'm going to get rid of that. Sure, that's good enough. Maybe we'll go back up here and start playing with the blacks a little bit. Kill the shadows a little bit more. Bring that exposure up. Contrast, maybe we'll just play with it, see what it does. No, I don't really like what it does. Maybe add plus five. We'll leave it at that. Uh, I could grab a brush. I'm just kind of going around, seeing what I could do with this photo. And you can even make it look like that has a little candle in it. Or not, doesn't matter. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's good enough. That's a good basic edit. If I wanted to, I could even copy these settings, command copy on a Mac, and go to my other photos that I have in this set and paste them. And you can see right there, uh, let's just reset it and do it again. You can see right there, that's a pretty good basic edit. I would probably just throw some, take some blacks out of that, and throw the exposure up, and that looks pretty good. Uh, and you can just do the same thing to this, copy the settings from before, make minor adjustments, and you're moving. Maybe get some of those shadows out of there. And there you go. So that was just kind of a real quick edit. Wanted to show you uh, some fun stuff that hopefully I'll be coming out with soon. Off-camera flash work outside at night and in the daytime, balancing it with sun. Uh, that'll be coming up soon, uh, so just keep tuned. And if you want to see more of these photos, I just posted uh, them on my blog, uh, blog.davidjamesvisuals.com. Uh, go go check out the whole set. It was a really cool wedding. Uh, at the bottom of it, make sure to leave a nice comment, like it, uh, enjoy it. It's also her birthday today, the 3rd of December. So, yeah, say something nice. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, I will probably put a preset up for this. It's simple, I know. You can just copy the video, but people like presets, so we'll see what we can do about that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.